hello guys welcome back so now let's implement the UI for our sign-in screen so first of all let's remove this text widget we will add a container in which we will alignment we will add from bottom center and we can say image dot asset and the image is inside the images folder by the name seller.png if I show you seller.png this image the height for which will be 270 so now if we check out the app it looks like this after this of course if you want you can apply some padding on this image dot asset from all sides click here before this eye you will see yellow bulb click on that wrap with padding from all sides it is enough then after this we have to add sign in form so we can say form key will be sign in form key so we can add here global key form state let's give it name as form key so we can say key form key child column widget we will have basically two text fields one for the email one for the password so that's why we need a multi children widget which is column and in perpendicular direction we want to display so that's why we use column widget now the important thing is we can directly start implementing the text field here but that way as you know we need two text field so which means that we will rewrite the code twice which is not a good practice we have to use the reusable code that is we can write the code only one time uh, and we can call it anywhere whenever we need it according to our need so for that purpose we will create a reusable widget so what we can do right click on lib new create a new folder we will give it name as widgets then right click on widgets folder new dot file and we will give it name as uh, custom underscore text underscore field port material dot dot we will create stateful widget we will give it name as uh, custom text field return container widget you will add some decoration box decoration color for which will be color start white border radius border radius from all side radius start circular 12 so this is our decoration after the decoration we will add padding from all side 8 then we will apply margin from all side 10 let's change this to 8 as well ok 8 for padding from all side 8 for margin from all side child text form field we will set the property enabled and basically now here we have to define some parameters which we will receive here inside our custom text field so what we can do is for example text editing controller that is for which purpose we need this text form field for email for password for name for uh, phone number for address okay that will have i mean that is something which we will pass to it as a parameter we will receive it here by the name controller or you can say text editing controller then 
icon data icon data then a string for the hint that is password text field will have its own te uh, hint text and email text field will have its own hint text as I told you guys we are making this reusable so we can say hint text or you can say hint string then a boolean type variable on the basis of which we will uh, understand the property of a text form field is obscure either it is for password if it is for password it means it will have a true value and the text will be in secure form in dotted form otherwise if it is for email then it will be in visible form that is in readable form visible form means readable form so we can give it the same name that is secre okay like this and the default value for this will be true is obscure then a boolean type variable that is either we want to enable the text field or we want to lock it so by default it will be true we can receive it here in the constructor so we can say this dot text reading controller comma this dot icon data comma this dot hint string this dot is obscure and then finally the last one which is this dot enabled so enabled will be whatever is the enable variable value is it will be for it similarly for the controller whatever the text rating controller value is it will be assigned here then obscure text whatever the value of obscure is obscure variable is it will be assigned here make sure to remove this const from here okay and add another check here decoration input decoration board will be input border dot none with no border prefix icon will be whatever our icon data is it will be our prefix icon so we can say widget dot icon data and the color for this will be colors dot blue ascent then after the prefix icon we have hint text so whatever the value of hint string is it will be assigned now why we make our we create this custom text field or in simple words you can say why we write this reusable code now for example whenever we need a text field we will simply call this custom text field and only we have to uh, pass these parameters to it okay these five for example from the sign in screen we need first one for the email so we will say custom text field first we will pass controller which is text reading controller and to the text reading controller we will pass uh, we will assign its uh, desired controller for example here on the sign in I already told you we will have text reading controller for email and password so we can say text setting controller second one password so for the email we can say email text setting controller then we have icon data that is which icon we want to display so for the email it will be icons.email hint text that is hint string it will be email 
and is obscure that is it is secure or not as you know it is email so no so we will set false for it so these will use will be assigned to their required that is it will be received here okay that is we are passing from here okay similarly the enabled one which will be true that is we want it to be enabled so these will use we are passing from here and it will be received here and a design will be implemented according to their 12 use so for example this is for the email and this is for the password we can say password text reading controller and it will be in case of password it will be is obscure will be true so the advantage of creating a custom text field or you can say the advantage of using this reusable code is we do not need to write this long code again and again just we call our custom text field and we pass our parameters to it just we call our custom text field and we pass the required parameter to it and what it will do it will create two text field for us now here on the custom text field alongside with the hint text you can apply hint style for example the color you can change to colors dot black or color dot gray at least sound will be good enough as you can see okay and also make sure to add const modifier here so this is the advantage of using this reusable code similarly in the same way we will implement our sign up screen and the same reusable code we will use on our sign up screen just by calling this custom text field like this for example on the sign up screen we will have email password name location address and so on just we will call custom text field like this so anyways now let's complete this we will add quickly a button elevated button When the user click on it of course we will log in but for now we will leave it like this let's apply style on this button which is elevated button dot style from that is we want to change its background color so what we can do is we can say background color will be color start blue ascent and then also what we want is we want to apply padding const edge in dot submit horizontal will be 50 and vertical will be 10 and then comes the after the style comes the name of this button so we can say child const color will be color start white font weight will be bold you can see it looks like this